We're in the building. Voice of the Voiceless, 91.3 FM, WCUW. WCUW. It's your boy, Truth It. Um, I have to change. I have to think of something different because uh, here to address any and all things when it's time to, and it's time to, is what a female battle rapper uses, so I can't use that anymore. Hey! I have to change it, so... <coughs> <laughs> and yeah, the same way Michael J. Thrill the Negro Spiritual. Mike Tau got a lot of beautiful mind. Hey, uh, Michael Action. Um, Michael J. Thriller. Mr. Slavery is a choice. Hey, run away. Bang. Run away. Uh, so, we had we ended last week's show kind of on an interesting note. You brought up a, a, a subject. What do we think about Kanye yay. and what he was saying? Yay, yay. And um, I said we didn't have enough time, and we really didn't. But the whole idea of slavery being a choice. You caught a lot of flack this past week, I've noticed, from a lot of people who were interested, or a lot of people who were a little offended mm -hmm. by your choice words. Mm -hmm. First, do you think they have a right to be offended at what you're saying? No. I don't. I think it, 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 the fact that they were offended is is offensive. Right? It's um, on so many different levels, right? Um, one is like uh, let somebody have it and speak through it. So like, say we're, we're siblings, right? Yeah. And we have uh, uh, parents, and we have the same uh, experience. But I say, you know what? I can't stand that f dad. Dad is a scumbag. Okay. And you be like, yo, who you talking? About? You can't talk to my father. They like, it's my father too, right? These are my ancestors too. This is my history too. So for people to be like, how dare you say like, how dare you say anything about what I have to say about about my experience, about my ancestors, right? These ain't just yours, right? So that's on, on one hand. The other hand is they dead wrong. It is a choice. Choice like these, are, and what it really was, was a, a case study on like the insanity that uh, a, a, a oppression, like it's like a, a sudden neurosis, right? Okay. Um, that that it creates in, in in people that like they are, they can't even understand things outside of being a victim. Like like they, they these are people that was out out like out front, like like they really think that choice only applies to like chocolate or vanilla. Like like so 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 to say that you didn't have a choice means that man doesn't have free will, right? That, that means that like there's like and if you have free will then you have a choice. There's no uh, if ands or buts about it. We didn't say whether they nice choices. We didn't say what well, his choice is forced upon him. We just said it was a choice. And if you can, and then when you, and the last thing was to say, uh, which I like, I, I really had to be kind of as as hard as I went on people. I really had to kind of reserve stuff because like, it was it was really stupid, man. Like really stupid. If you, if people would remove their emotions and think about what they were saying, it's really stupid. Because on the other hand, if you said that there's no choice, like I said at the end, then you're actually disrespecting the people who chose to fight and die uh, instead of live through that. Okay, so you say remove emotions. What you what the kind of feeling that I get of how you're sounding kind of sounds like a white person when they say if he wasn't resisting or if he would have just complied, he wouldn't have been dead. Which is technically technically true. But to say remove uh, emotions from it, from me watching someone who looks like me getting choked to death, or, or someone who looks like me getting shot, all because a dude decided to tussle with police and run away from him, is kind of unfair, don't you think? I, I can see why that hurts. So now, how is that? How is that the parallel to you, you being upset that slaves chose to endure instead of die? Because it, because. Just like watching a person get killed by the police, think of the horrors of slavery and the horrors of people who look like you, of your ancestors. Just think of the horror of your ancestors. Like, the, the, you know, the famous picture of the dude that's, like, sitting and has his back, all those lashes and stuff yeah. on his back. And it, it, it's just like, oh, well, he chose that. It, 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 it's like kind of oversimplifying and taking away... Uh, like uh, empathy or sympathy for what the uh, slave, slaves did through. So when I said last week, I agree slavery was a choice. The reason why I said we need a lot more time to talk about it was to express how 
uh, painful it is to even think about what those people went through when they went through it. And it's not taking anything away from them. And their choices for staying slaves were not easy choices. But that wasn't the discussion though. Was it, it was never it wasn't an easy choice. It was, was it a choice? Go ahead, I'm sorry. Right, but, but when you simply say it was a choice, yes, you're right. But it, it's like really, really fluffing up a really, really difficult time for black people. I, I, I would actually uh, would argue the other way. That, that we don't need to flood, we don't, it, it's, the truth is the truth, right? And so when you say that, right, the more I thought about what those people endured, the more disrespectful I got to those people. Because I, I, can, I, I can't help but to think about myself. Okay. You, fam, like, there, there's, there was things growing up because of patriarchy, right? And that America, they, they tell this story and they tell history a certain way, right? And they'll tell you, tell you, they'll let out certain atrocities so that you'll have these fears and you know that they're capable of it. But they won't tell you exactly all the things that you did. Like I, like you don't, you don't find out until you dig that they fed, they, 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 they fed the babies. They used the babies as gator bait. Yeah, right. Is, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. As a parent, someone when that man does that to your child, I don't, I don't want to respect you if you don't like, kill that man. I don't care what you go through. I don't care how sad you are. I don't respect you if you don't kill that man. I don't respect you. If I live there mm -hmm. on that plantation and he does that, not to my child, I am going to kill that man. I promise you, man. And, and the thing that I see, like, what, what became, what enraged me even more was that people were like, oh, you think you would, uh, it was like, would you do it? Like, they want you to be, a, 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 this is really, the same people that push back is the same people that if they instituted slavery today, they would do it, they would fall in line. That's why, I, I, I argue, that's why, they, I, I really feel that that's why they're fighting like that. And so they, they, they become angered at, at people who look like, nah, I'm not going for that. And so when people are like, to be in people, for people to be in disbelief that I would die for that or that anybody else would die for that is really stupid. And, and really, like, they're, they're, they're projection because there were millions, probably not millions, but there were tons of slaves that actually did say, nah, I'm, I'm not riding with this. I have a daughter, fam. I can't imagine uh, uh, them coming to my house mm -hmm. and doing what they want to not only to my daughter, my, my mother, my grandmother, my sister, to me, they did it to men too. Like, they don't tell you that because they don't want you to think of a white man like that. But if you really want to destroy uh, like the spirit of the family, you emasculate the men. Right? You, you take him apart. Right? And, so, and, and so anybody who's trying to live through that, why are you trying to live through that? Emasculate the male to tear the family apart? Yeah. That sounds like a debate about homosexuality, but that's neither here nor there. We'll, we, we could get into well, that. Wait, 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 but true, because, I, well, I mean, it, we should say more about that, because it, 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 there is, there, there is a, uh, a, a certain uh, understood connotation. There's a, there's a connotation about if a man does things to, a, to another man. Like, there's a, right. there's a certain way that you think about he, he made that man a woman. Right, but, so, so, but do you see how sometimes when you word things a certain way, uh, it, it projects to other people. Now I know that that wasn't your heart behind it when you said it, but that automatically no, but made me real. think about. I don't, I don't change the words. I don't change the language on that. Right. You, did, you did. You did the right thing. You asked for more more questions. You didn't say, "Hey, you're a homophobe." You asked more questions. So if you jumped and say, "Hey, you're a homophobe," I don't have any responsibility to, to explain it to you. Right. You right. jumped in the stupid lane. You right. drowned over there. Right. Right. So uh, the the. The, narr the narr narration of the, and correct me if I'm wrong, when the way you narrated the debate for the alligators, I think that was after slavery was over, and they knew they could not keep them as slaves, so they was just like, we just want to kill black people, and hey, let's just use them for uh, baby bait. Because during slavery, when their slaves had children, they looked at that, oh, that's property, that's, fu that's a future, I can, right. I can raise this one up and sell this one and stuff like that. So the, uh, Or you can have them, I can just, I can just make more. I don't, so I don't, so, my, but like I said, it's an investment. Why would you, oh. Because you for, 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 like, 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 you ever seen someone, like, so I'm not saying everyone one did it, right? Not, it wasn't, it wasn't the. No, 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 I, no I, so, I'm saying it definitely so, happened. So, I'm so, saying, so, I, I think that happened post-slavery. What I'm saying, I, I don't know whether it happened, like, it was told to me during a certain era. So, like, yeah. I, I'd be lying if I said that the exact era, yeah. right? Uh, however, I don't think that anyone who is capable of using a child Mm -hmm. uh, for, for, for gator bait yep. is restrained to any uh, traditional uh, 
conceptualizing of, of how they would think, meaning that like if you were able to do that to a child, you could you 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 are you could it's possible you could be capable of overlooking this investment and okay. say, oh yeah, it's worth it. Hey, you know what? Like, what's this cost? Uh, eight hundred? Cool. This is worth the this little eight hundred dollar investment is worth the fun I'm going to have. Okay. Right? And, and, and so, like, I'm not saying that again that that's the case, but it's not. Then now, I don't think they're about that. Right. Um, so, what do you feel? So, so it's. The, it, I don't think your cold truth or your truth is wrong. I think the way you deliver the message is wrong. I I I don't I I, I don't agree. That, like I, I thought about that a lot, right? And. Um, my man hit me, and he was like, uh, you know, like, he, he hit me, he was like, okay. And I, I know he's getting that. He's like, I was like, what you mean? He's like, no, it's an end game. And he's like, yeah, you bit me, and like, okay, you, you told them, now what? Right, right. And, right. and, um, and so, like, I, I shared with him, but what, what, what he, I don't know if he realized, and, because and, it's still something, like, what I don't like is that, um, that I'm so sure why that, that people can hit my buttons like that, right? Um, but you like doing that? No, it's a, it's a lot, man. Like, like, like that. That's actually bad for my heart. I hate that, right? Like, like, like. What I was actually. You doing. don't like putting things on Facebook for sh like, like to to spark conversations of the way. You know, we, we live in a society of stupid people, and our community is undereducated and stupid, and, and they actually are the the actual uh, in, in our community. The victims become the, the the predators all the time. And when you're doing the work of actually fighting for what's right, you have to constantly put things down that look like lightning bolts. And so that's why I started, started that last time. I said I hate when people think I'm trolling because when you're actually doing your duty of like being uh, of, of talking what's right, people are gonna think you're trolling. No, it's, I'm just telling the truth. I don't get this. Doesn't get like my jollies off. I don't think no. I don't think it's. I don't think you do it for trolling purposes. But I remember I had a conversation with you before where you said some certain things you do put on Facebook in uh, for a means to kind of educating, but to get, you know, so sometimes, I want to say like a joke almost. Right. Like you do say thought-provoking things right. to kind of get people like wheels turning and stuff like that. But, but what my opinion, the way I, I think is, is that it's just like me being a Christian preacher, right? Uh, I talked to Yakanah Maccabeus, you know them dudes, the um, Hebrew Israelites? Black Israelites. Yeah. I said, listen, like, even if we don't agree with the same, we don't agree, like, our theologies are different, it's the way you guys do, the way you guys preach it. So, there are some Christians that be just, they'll just stand on the corner like, listen, Jesus is coming and you're going to burn, you're going to hell. Nobody wants to hear that. Like, that, that, sh that turns people away from your message. And your goal is to get people to hear the message. So if you have to if, change how if you that's get the goal. goal, yes, if it's the goal to get the message, but why would you say something like that? Because I just goal like, like I gave you a chance. Like at the end of the day, like it's too much. It's too time consuming to hold these people hand to move. I'm gonna tell you though, this is what it is. If you don't move, ultimately everybody gonna have to pay for this, right? What, I, what I'm telling you is like, so I, I talked to my man. I said at the end of the day, the way it looks like, like there's going to be some sort of monumental paradigm, social paradigm shift. Sooner or later in this country, right? Mm -hmm. Like all empires fall, right? Right. And then what we think is normal. Ask a Syrian what they thought about reality uh, eight years ago, right. and then ask them think what they think about today, and then how quick it changes, right? Yeah. When that happens, fam, when Y two K came, uh, like people laughed at me, right? And sometimes I feel kind of like a like kind of like a little weirdo, like like. But I I don't. People was like, damn, don't you not? Ah, ha, you missed out. When Y two K came, Y two K came, mm -hmm. I really. Thought. And there was things that led to, like, that there was going to be some sort of social collapse. You know what happened? Yo, my family was packed away. I had a, a Chinese assault rifle. I had a, a, a high-capacity fire, uh, firearm and a, and, a, and a revolver. I had uh, rations uh, to serve for six months and a contingency plan with fuel and water, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not playing no games, fam. We all, some of us, we, this, this is the reason to, like, uh, we are all here for different reasons. And, and yep. some of us have the audacity to chase what we're here for. And the rest of them are haters. Like what they're doing on Ye right now. Is, is like people who are too afraid to be something uh, special uh, like, like they're supposed to be here. They get in line and go to work every day. And they have opinions and they, they conform and they hate people who think for themselves. Because it makes them, it shames them for not being what they're supposed to be. Okay. So look, to bring it back, uh, to bring it back uh, full circle, uh, those, those people, I don't have any responsibility 
to uh, to make move these people. There's certain people that I feel like, hey, I really want you to move. And and if they show in the case I want to move, but at the end of the day, like when when it falls apart, these people who you told about it are gonna come running, and it's too late then, man. Right? Like like you were just your your whole life, you were your burden. You didn't want to do your responsibility uh, and, and and do what you have to do to move the collective ahead. You were just you were too afraid. You got lying. You wanted just your luxury. You didn't you wanted to hope that things was never gonna collapse. But guess what? They collapsed, and you ain't ready. Okay. So what did the, so you, what you're saying is is that. The types of mindsets that they have now, yes. when something hits the fan, they will be the reason for the downfall. Part of it. Okay. Part of it. And actually, you know what, even more so, like what Einstein said, it's not the people with the guns and, and bombs that's going to destroy the world. It's the people that sit on, sit, sit on the sideline and do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. I, wish, I wish we had someone on the show who, one of the people who disagreed with what you said and, and, and really had an issue with what you said, because I would ask them about uh, it, sounds like, it sounds like you had an issue with it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I don't have an issue with what you're saying. I don't have an issue with your belief that slavery is a choice. I have an issue with your delivery. yeah, with, not 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 really your delivery, but getting frustrated with people who are who have an emotional attachment to the horrors that we went through in the past. I think they are the part of the problem, right? And and so like. I have to own my stuff first, so so like I haven't. So for people who criticize Black Lives Matter, anybody else out there who's doing something on a large scale, and you got on the side, you got something to say about it. It really doesn't make a lot of sense because what you doing, right? Mm -hmm. So even though I'm on my stuff, I'm behind schedule, right? I got I got a plan, and and I'm working on it, but I got to conquer a lot of stuff. And so anyway, long long story short, um, uh, damn the the, the criticism. What, you, what was your point? Uh, the delivery of the and and, and not. Being oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. So, so for example, right? Like when I just, like got, got deeper in this uh, community organizing, there was this thinking that there was this, th and they they all championed it, right? And I was like, yo, this is a, such a stupid position to take. Mm -hmm. Is that like white people who are actually like? So if you really as a black per person, right? I give you a bad example, right? Okay. When Trump got elected, and mm -hmm. I seen that he's a, like an extreme narcissist. Yeah. And I see how easy he is to manipulate. I said, you know what's so crazy? If black people just said we love you, Trump, he would give you every, he would give him everything. Mm -hmm. And black people are too damn proud to play the game to win. They don't want to win. You want to, you want to throw a fit, and you want them to move like, like when you want them to move. Like so, that, like I was in rooms where there was white people that had, like that, that had resources, that had stakeholders, and they were, and there were white people that, that, that would push back on, on. Uh, racist issues and uh, ideals, and you know what those black people say? I don't got time to educate you. You, you know, if you cared about you, look at yourself. You should care because you're the one that's dying from it, right? right? So whatever you can do to expedite this, you should be doing it. But this is like our, our leadership has been filled with this, right? There would be plenty of white people that, that that kind of do it, and maybe they're not genuine in the question, but make them push it there and so and make them reveal themselves. The white people are like, well, what is that answer? Mean? And you know what black people say? Mm -hmm. You want me to come up with the solution to this? Give them the, give them the solution. And then make them, and then make them reveal themselves. Like, they, they, you know, I, got, you, I didn't create the problem. That is a, such a stupid position. That position is rooted in the mind state that says slavery wasn't a choice. I didn't say, like, and I didn't change anything back to, to the point. I just said, like, <laughs> I presented the same thing. Also, shout out to my man, Carl Martinez. He was like, he came and he's like, um, this isn't a, a new idea. Malcolm X was saying this years ago, and if you and if you don't just like Malcolm, check out Huey P. Newton, Revolutionary Suicide. This is not Kanye's idea. You know, right. even though he came up with his own, he wasn't probably wasn't referencing them, right? But this is like pe people who thought I've been thinking this since eight years old, thinking about how did that like how was this? Why would people to try try to live through this? Why didn't you have to end up? End, so end, long story short, I don't feel like me. I I, I think if I have to change. <laughs> if I have to cater to your response to was slavery a choice? It's just right. a plain question. Is it like the answer feels bad, right? You like me, but if you have an emotional response to that I don't really want you in my circle. You are you are a liability. Okay. Some people. Okay. So so what say you about white people then? Where do white people fall in this? Because can white people be educated to be allies? Is the question? We have to. If, if you, it's like this. If you ain't going, if you ain't going, if you ain't going to sleep with them, you have to kill them, 
right? And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a metaphor, meaning like if you ain't gonna bring them in the real way, mm -hmm. you have to kill them because we cannot live with white people side by side, like because like, eventually, like it would just, it's not gonna work. We have to incorporate or we have to kill them. And I know that where well, black people are too damn terrified. <laughs> My man put me on this. He said, "Yo, Mike, it's so crazy." That 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 they that belief that slavery wasn't a choice is what allows them, what allowed them to be. It, it would have it's like five or six of them in the field with hundreds, hundreds every day. It's five or six of them, man, and it's hundreds of them every day, bro. Mm -hmm. They so damn scared to die, and it's, it still hasn't changed. It still ain't changed, man. All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, we'll, we'll, we'll have to uh, touch up on this topic again uh, at a later date. If you are listening to this and you do have, uh, you want to come on the show and uh, you want to have a conversation about this, you can uh, hit us up. Yeah. Uh, WCMCNEILL -L at gmail.com. Just uh, put the slavery was a choice as the uh, subject title Fact. and then we'll read it. And then, uh, you know, we can schedule a time for you to come on and be on the show and uh, speak your piece.